A Providence man charged in the kidnapping and death of a Boston woman appeared in federal court this afternoon. 32-year-old Lewis Coleman III went before a judge in Massachusetts for the first time since his arrest in Delaware late last month. He's accused of kidnapping 23-year-old Jassy Correa, who was later found dead in the trunk of Coleman's car. Tonight, we're hearing from Correa's friends about this horrific crime. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh was in federal court for today's appearance and is live in Boston now with the latest. Kate? Mike and Shannon, we are live outside the Mowgli Federal Courthouse here in Boston, and this is where we saw Lewis Coleman for the first time in person. No cameras are allowed inside federal court, but I was in the courtroom and can tell you it was filled with people, including about nine members of Jassy Correa's family. At times, they looked away from Coleman, other times bowing their head in sorrow. Heartbroken, family members of Jesse Correa quite literally supported each other as they sat in the same courtroom as the 23-year-old mother's alleged killer for the first time. 32-year-old Lewis Coleman of Providence was quiet in his first federal court appearance in Boston, looking just as he does in this mugshot, but with an orange jumpsuit reading PCCF on the back, speaking softly only to confirm to the judge he had in fact read the criminal complaint against him. Jesse's two-year-old daughter's godmother watched from the courtroom. I would do anything and everything to make sure that she gets justice, just as I did when she went missing. I put posters up, I called Fox, I did press, I did all of that, and I'm here today, and I'm going to continue. Jesse Correa was reported missing nearly two weeks ago after she was last seen leaving a Boston club celebrating her birthday. Her body was found four days later bound by duct tape in a suitcase in the trunk of Lewis Coleman's car in Delaware. In court, Coleman was represented by these two court appointed lawyers who did not want to comment after the appearance. One of them, Jane Peachy, told the judge that Coleman agreed to a voluntary order of detention and waived a right to a preliminary hearing. The three government prosecutors announced Coleman's federal charge of kidnapping resulting in death carries the potential for the death penalty or life in prison if he's convicted. The U.S. Attorney in Massachusetts, Andrew Lelling, and the Suffolk County District Attorney, Rachel Rollins, were many of the officials in the courtroom today watching these proceedings. And afterwards, D.A. Rollins spoke to the media. New at 6 o'clock tonight, you'll hear what she said about the Correa family. Live in Boston, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News. Now at 6, new information from today's federal court appearance of the Providence man charged in the kidnapping and death of a Boston woman. Today was Lewis Coleman III's first court appearance in Boston since his arrest in Delaware last week. Family and friends of the victim, 23-year-old Jassy Correa, were among those who filled the courtroom today. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh was at the hearing in Boston and has the new details. This was the first time we have seen Lewis Coleman in person. And while cameras aren't allowed in the federal courtroom, I was in there and can tell you he looked just as he does in his mugshot, perhaps even more clean shaven, speaking softly and only to tell the judge that he did read the criminal complaint against him. Also in the courtroom, several members of Jesse Correa's family. Justice, the reason these family members fought through their grief to be in court just two days after burying 23-year-old Jesse Correa. They faced the young mother's alleged killer for the first time, 32-year-old Lewis Coleman of Providence, who made his initial court appearance before a federal judge in Boston. And we're just happy that this individual is brought back into our jurisdiction so that we can hold him accountable here where her family is and they don't have to travel. Correa's body was found in the trunk of Coleman's car four days after she was last seen alive, leaving a Boston nightclub. Coleman was already charged with one federal count of kidnapping resulting in death, a charge that carries the potential for the death penalty. He needed to get the death penalty he needs to run because he took Jesse's life and at his first court appearance in Boston, Coleman agreed to a voluntary order of detention and waived a right to a preliminary hearing. His two court appointed attorneys would not comment as they left court. The godmother of Jesse Correa's two year old daughter vowing for justice. I would do anything and everything to make sure that she gets justice, just as I did when she went missing. I put posters up, I called Fox, I did press, I did all of that. and. I'm here today and I'm going to continue. I'm also told that in court, in addition to Correa's family, were three supporters of Lewis Coleman. They had no comment after court. In Boston, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.